Hello, lovely Premier 2 Poopies of Torch Bearers Academy. How are you all doing? I trust you enjoyed the holiday. I know we've missed class activities and we pray that the pandemic will soon be over so that we can all return to school and meet physically, alright? But I want to urge you all that we should take these online classes very seriously, even as we begin this exciting third term. So, we are beginning a new topic this term in computer science, and our first topic for this term is the system unit. The system unit is the computer casing or cabinet that contains the central processing unit, which is also known as the brain of the computer, and other electronic units that can only be seen when the case or cabinet is open. Okay, the system unit is the computer casing or cabinet that contains the central processing unit, which is also known as the brain of the computer, and other electronic units that can only be seen when the case or cabinet is open. To better understand our definition, we will be looking at the image in our next slide. Here we have a picture of the system unit. It looks like some of our DVD we have at home. It is a bus-like case, also called the cabinet. Inside this case, you have the CPU, which is the central processing unit, known as the brain of the computer. Inside this system unit, we also have the motherboard, the ROM, and other electronic components. Okay, these components that are inside this system units can only be seen when the casing is open. Remember I said the casing is also called the cabinet, okay? This system unit is used to process data. The system unit is also called the tower case. All right, so move on to the next slide. Now, next slide, we'll be discussing more on the system unit. The system unit has a tray that opens to accept CD. Okay? I made mention of CD. Children, do you know that the full meaning of your CD is called compact disc? The C stands for compact and the D stands for disc which is called compact disk. I also made mention earlier that the system unit looks like some of our DVD players we have at home. Now, when you want to insert your CD, which is the compact disk, you press a button and a tray comes out of the DVD. Then you put your CD on it and it returns inside. So also, the system unit has a tray at the front that opens to accept CD and it is called CD ROM drive. The system unit also has a slot where you can insert a diskette. The image of the diskette is on your screen right now. It is almost rectangular in shape. The slot where you can insert this diskette is called the floppy disk drive. The image of this floppy disk drive is also on your screen. Okay, we'll move over to the next slide. We'll be discussing the back of the system unit. At the back of the system unit, there are many cords and cables going to different parts of the computer. There are also holes called ports. Children, I'm not talking about the ports. In your mother's house or your mother's kitchen this spot you're talking about here is spelled p-o-r-o-t p-o-r-o-t okay some of us are familiar with these spots okay an example of these spots is in your phone and your charger if you look at your phone where uh, your mommy or your daddy plugs the charger to you see sometimes either at the top of the phone or underneath the phone there's usually a small port where you can plug the charger to. That small hole is called the port. Okay? And also, if you look at your mommy or your daddy's charger, you see there's a cord, a long wire, and the charger head. Sometimes this cord and the charger, you can remove it. You, you can detach it from each other. That means you can remove the wire from the charger head. 
okay and that wire is called the usb cord now if you look at the charger head where you have removed the cord from you see there's also a hole there that hole is called the usb port okay that is an example of a port and the, you look at the port from the charger head and the port in your mommy's phone where you connect your charger to it is different in size there is difference in the sizes they are different in size okay so that's why we can say the port comes in different size for different purpose now for our system units there are different ports for different cords okay and these ports are used for different purposes also you have the usb ports and the full meaning of our usb is universal serial bus okay we also have the keyboard ports where you connect your plug your keyboard to your system unit then we have the serial ports we have the mouse ports you connect your mouse to your system units okay and they are used to plug in or connect to many devices these ports are used to plug in or connect to many devices okay now we're moving up moving over to the next slide sorry we're moving over to the next slide where we have the system unit and its internal components the system unit and its internal components now components of the system unit are things that makes up the system unit there are many hidden components inside the system unit an example of that is the hard drive the hard drive is where information is stored information of the computer is saved okay another example we have the motherboard this motherboard it holds and allow communication between many of the important electronic components of the system unit it holds and allow information between many of the important electronic components of the system units now the third example is the cpu the full meaning of the cpu is the central processing unit okay it's also called the uh, central processor and we said earlier that it is the brain of the computer the cpu is the brain of the computer like human beings have brains also does uh, the computer brain is the cpu the fourth example is ram the full meaning of ram is random access memory okay all right we've come to the end of today's class and by god's grace when we meet in our next class we'll be discussing a new topic which is description of the central processing unit an assignment has been dropped for you in the pdf file please ensure you do the assignment and submit all right thank you stay at home wash your hands regularly and stay safe i love you all bye